Ladies and gentlemen, your future MP of Segambut, Puan Hannah Yeo. Dipersilakan. Puan Hannah Yeo. Thank you. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is a significant time in our campaign period in Segambut simply because Today, the Cherama, the big one, has come to Tamantun Dr. Ismail. Tamantun Dr. Ismail is named after our Deputy Prime Minister at one point, Tun Dr. Ismail. Tun Dr. Ismail, if you Google up and you read about him, he was an UMNO member who believed that Malaysia belongs to all Malaysians. The streets in Tun, Taman Tun Dr. Ismail are symbolic to what this nation is supposed to represent. Multiracial Malaysia. But Tun Dr. Ismail passed away prematurely. And because of his passing, Tun Hussein then came in, making way for Tun Dr. Mahade and the leadership that we have today. But as a young Malaysian, I am so grateful that there are seniors before us now, seniors who are in their 90s, who are in their 70s, who watch how our nation has developed to what it is today and feel the call to come out again to speak up. I'm thankful because they didn't have to. This is the chance for us to rewrite history, to fix the cost of this, of this nation, where it has gone wrong. Tun Dr. Mahathir is now coming back to lead, to pass it to the, right, to the next leader, to make sure that we head back to the right direction. <coughs> it is before us now. We can actually fix this. And on the 9th of May, let it be recorded in history that Taman Tun Dr. Ismail voters understand the spirit of Tun Dr. Ismail, what he fought for for this nation, and vote alongside his principles and his struggles, ensuring that we put an end once and for all to racial politics in Malaysia. Elected by the people of Segambut, I want to go into Parliament, lend my experience dealing with select committees, having oversight on the executive, how governments spend their money, what they do. I want to use that tap, use those experience and tap into, uh, into in, in, in Parliament, making sure that we hold whichever government that comes in accountable to the people. Yes. If elected. I want to work on the software of this nation. How many young families here, young parents, all of us go to work every day. Our savings are meant for our kids' education. Why do we have to pay so much for good quality education? It doesn't have to be like this. Many people have taken their kids out from government school because they no longer trust the government schools today. I am a product of government school. Back then, it was fantastic. We had scholar Harapan, we have excellent teachers. The best teachers back then were found in government schools. It's time to restore and to rebuild our government school. I want to tackle education in Malaysia. The third thing I want to champion is for the rights of children. Because children will grow up to become teenagers and after teenagers they grow up to become full grown adults in Malaysia working, contributing to this nation. The incident, Skolat Tafis fire in Kuala Lumpur is very unfortunate. So many young lives perish and young people are charged in court for starting that fire. What went wrong in our nation? It is time to address the software of this nation, the children, children's future, children's welfare, which has been neglected by Barisan National Government. If you don't fix the facilities for our children, you are going to see rising crime rate. If you don't deal with social issues involving children, you're going to have serious drug addiction. Drug addicts will be added on. 
all around Kuala Lumpur and you will see crime rate rise. Therefore, children's rights are important. We have to do it because they are the future of Malaysia. Everything that we fight for today is for them. And finally, voters of Segambut, I pledge to you what I pledged to the people of Subang Jaya 10 years ago, that if you put me in, every effort I take, every action I take, everything I do will be centered around two things, fighting corruption, making this nation a cleaner nation, and number two, to fight race-based policies, giving opportunities to poor Malays, poor Chinese, poor Indians, poor Malaysians everywhere. We are down to the last three days. Last three days to fix history in Malaysia, fix the direction that we are going.